At the highly anticipated WWE Money in the Bank 2023 event, Roman Reigns experienced an unexpected pinfall defeat, marking the first time in over three years that he had suffered such a loss. The match that unfolded was the Bloodline Civil War, where Reigns, joined by Solo Sokoa, faced off against the Usos. Let us look at the real reasons why Jey Uso was the one to pin Roman Reigns. The first reason is for Jey Uso to challenge Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship at SummerSlam. You see, in a remarkable turn of events, Jey Uso became the first WWE superstar in three years to successfully pin Roman Reigns. This monumental achievement marked the first time Reigns had been pinned by a fellow wrestler on the main roster. Jay's victory not only poses a significant threat to Reigns' previously unchallenged reign, but also establishes his rightful claim to a future opportunity at challenging the tribal chief for his coveted title. By defeating the champion, Jay Uso has exposed a truth that cannot be ignored. It is highly likely that WWE will seize this momentous development and arrange a blockbuster match at SummerSlam, where Reigns will be compelled to defend his championship against Jay Uso. The Tribal Chief is well aware that, technically, he has never defeated Jey Uso in the ring. The previous encounter saw Jey surrender to protect his brothers, but the dynamics have shifted now as the Usos are resolute in their determination to teach their cousin a profound lesson. The second reason is to signify the beginning of the end for Roman Reigns. You see, the prevailing belief within the WWE Universe is that Jey Uso is the rightful contender to dethrone Reigns as the reigning champion. This conviction has only been reinforced by Jay's astonishing triumph over Reigns tonight. Nevertheless, even if Jay Uso ultimately falls short in his bid to unseat Roman Reigns, the fact that the tribal chief has been pinned reveals a vulnerability that arises when he lacks assistance. As a result of this defeat, Reigns now finds himself exposed, significantly enhancing the prospects of his future challengers against the once seemingly unbeatable champion. While it remains uncertain whether Reigns will relinquish his title in the upcoming month or in subsequent months, the Tribal Chief is acutely aware that his dominant era is approaching its inevitable conclusion. And lastly, to crown Jey Uso as the next Tribal Chief. Despite Roman Reigns' attempts to manipulate Jey Uso by offering him the position of the next Tribal Chief, deep down, Reigns always harbored a fear of Jey's true potential. However, Jay remained unaffected by these tactics because he had long realized what others had also recognized. He was the rightful and deserving tribal chief. Since Roman Reigns declared himself the head of the table, there have been ongoing discussions about who could potentially overthrow his reign. Throughout this ongoing debate, one name consistently stood out from the rest, which is Jay Uso. His victory at Money in the Bank now serves as undeniable proof that the former right-hand man has the capability to sit on the throne and rule over the island of relevancy. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and catch you on the next video.